ChatGPT is an incredibly powerful tool. It can help you write code, create travel plans, and even understand the fundamentals of physics. And today, I'm gonna show you some tips that are gonna take your usage of ChatGPT to the next level. I can't tell you the number of times I've had conversations with people where one says ChatGPT is amazing and they love it, and the other person says that they don't get it and it just doesn't work well. Oftentimes, what I've found when I actually dig in a little deeper is that the person that had a bad experience simply doesn't quite know how to prompt it, how to use it in an optimal way. Just like talking to a human, ChatGPT needs a certain level of context. It needs to understand fully what you're trying to do and how you're trying to accomplish it. And without those details, the results you get back aren't going to be what you expect. To illustrate this point, let's take a look at a couple examples. We'll start with Write a YouTube script about the latest artificial intelligence news. Now, ChatGPT will happily go through and actually create a script, as you can see. It doesn't know the style of writing that I'm looking for. It doesn't know the length. It doesn't know anything about what we're trying to accomplish other than it's a YouTube script about artificial intelligence. So what we get back here is really generic. Cheerful music in the background, a quick montage of AI-related imagery means nothing to the broader context of my audience or anything that I would actually produce. So what's a better way to do this? Well, sometimes it helps to actually slow chat GPT down. And what I mean by that is actually give it some research to do so that it comes up with the context it needs to give you a better response. Let me show you what I mean. In the previous example, we had it write an AI related news script, but what actually makes for a great news summary? Let's have ChatGPT answer that for us. So now it knows a great news summary has the following elements, brevity, clarity, accuracy, objectivity. What it's going to do is next time when we go to actually have it write this script, it's going to use all of this detailed information about what makes a great news summary so that it produces a better output. We're gonna take it a step further. Which elements are critical to tell a great story? You see, writing a great script isn't just about telling the news or being objective. It's also about telling a story. You want to wrap everything together in a compelling way. In this case, with a plot, settings, conflict, themes, emotional connection, all those things that really help you engage with something that's happening. What we can ask next is, what are the latest developments this week in artificial intelligence? This is going to use Bing to go out on the web and actually do the research to pull back articles that are recent. Not surprising, it's been a busy week in tech. Now we've got all the elements in place. We know what makes a great news article. We understand how to tell a compelling story and we have all the latest AI news. So now our prompt is gonna be a little bit more specific. Write a YouTube script for my channel called All Your Tech AI. The script will summarize the top five AI news stories above in a compelling storytelling fashion using elements of a great news summary. Do not provide any visual descriptions, just the script. It should be around 3,000 tokens in length. ChatGPT and large language models in general don't really think about words and phrases the same way that you and I do. It's not good at counting individual words. If I said I want an article that's 3,000 characters or 3,000 words in length, it doesn't know how to do that. Internally, it works in token. And here's a good example. Imagine when you're chatting with ChatGPT, every bit of text from a single letter to a whole word is like a building block. We call these building blocks tokens. So if you say ChatGPT is great, it's made up of five tokens. Chat, G, P, T, is, and great. So the way ChatGPT thinks internally is not the same way we do. So you have to talk to it in its own language. And if you want something that's a specific length, it's best to use tokens instead of words. And here's our script. Hello and welcome back to All Your Tech AI, where we dive into the latest and greatest in artificial intelligence. I'm Brian Lovett, and today we're breaking down the top five AI news stories that are shaping our world. Let's get started. This sounds a lot more like me. It sounds a lot more like something I would actually produce on YouTube. And if we compare this to the earlier script that we got, this is vastly better. And it's all because we give ChatGPT a lot more context to work with. Now it's time consuming and somewhat annoying to have to provide all this information every single time you use ChatGPT. So there are some ways around that. One of them is to go to your account, bottom left hand corner, and you can select custom instructions. In this case, I can give it my name, where I work, my role in the company, anything that I'm interested in. I can also tell ChatGPT how I would like it to respond. Do I want it to be really abrupt and to the point? Do I want it to be very kind and nurturing. 
You do need to keep in mind though, that whatever you put into the custom instructions in this system prompt is going to be applied to every single conversation you have with ChatGPT. But what if you have something that you do on a regular basis and you don't wanna go through all that trouble of doing all the research, telling it how to write a story, et cetera, et cetera. That's where custom GPTs come into play. And I'm gonna show you how to create one right now. So what we're gonna do is click on Explore GPTs. Now this only shows up if you have a plus subscription, but you'll go up here to the upper left, you'll click on Explore GPTs, and then you'll go to the upper right where it says Create. Now here, you just need to create a name. We'll call it the Script Writer. And we'll give it a description of what it does. I'm gonna say, I'm a YouTube script writer that specializes in AI news script. All right, instructions. This is where you tell the GPT what it should do when certain events happen. So we'll start off and we'll say, you're a professional YouTube script writer for an artificial intelligence YouTube channel called All Your Tech AI. This just gives it the context of who I am. Now I'm gonna say, write a script. So from here on, any time that I ask it to write a script, it's going to do the following. When asked to write a script, ask what the topic is and perform a search to research the topic and summarize it. When the summary is complete, ask how long the script should be in tokens, then write the script using elements of a great news summary and elements of a great story. Here's the really cool part. You can upload files. This is super powerful. So what I did is I took that entire research that we had done before about the elements of a great story, what makes for a great news article, and I save those into text files. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna upload those here. As you can see, I'm gonna just jump those in. And now ChatGPT has both of those as knowledge for every conversation it has going forward. For conversation starters, here we're gonna say, write a script. What that's gonna do is, as you can see, you know those kind of pre-filled prompt starters? It's gonna have that right at the bottom here. Now you can upload other file types too. Let's say for example, you had a script that you wrote or some sort of paper that you wrote that's in your style and tone and voice and you wanted to upload that as guidance. You could absolutely do that here and it's gonna grab elements of that and it's storytelling from then on. Capabilities, web browsing, obviously we want this to be able to browse the web and get the articles for us. And then Dolly image generation. You might want it to make some imagery or some thumbnails. So we'll leave that on. Code interpreter, I have that unchecked. Code interpreter is essentially how it builds software, how it builds programs, how it codes. We don't really need that for our purposes here. And then the last one is actions. I'm not gonna spend any time on this now, but essentially actions allow you to connect to third-party APIs and pull in additional data. Really powerful way to build custom GPTs, and I'll do a deep dive on that in a later video. So now that we have this configured, let's give it a shot. We'll click on write script and it says, sure, I'd be happy to help with that. Could you please let me know the topic of the script you need? I'll say, I want to talk about the new custom GPT story that OpenAI just launched. You'll see just like the instructions, it's automatically doing research. I didn't have to prompt it to do that. It's just doing it. And then at the very bottom, just as our instructions, how long would you like the script to be in tokens? We'll say 3000. Now it's writing the whole script for us. And here's our script. This is great. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Fantastic. When we're done, we can see unpublished changes. Click update in the upper right hand corner, and then you can publish this. You can make it only for you. You can make it for anyone with a link, or you can make this available to everyone. I'm gonna keep it to only me. It's something that I don't think is useful to the broader world. So we'll click on confirm. And now every time I use ChatGPT, I can come over here to the left hand side and all of my custom GPTs. So instead of just chatting with ChatGPT at the top here, like you normally would, I can go, okay, I wanna to talk to my script writer, click on it, kick off writing a script. And the best part is you can apply these same techniques to pretty much any workflow you have in your day-to-day -day life. If you work on an IT help desk, you could upload your entire knowledge base. If you're a teacher, help it write your curriculum, really the possibilities are limitless. Let me know what your use cases are down in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. I'm the virtual prophet in the tech town. Break it down, AI, wearing the crown. From basics to complex, never let you down. All your tech, AI, earning the renown.